Hi, today we're going to see how to do skin smoothing in GIMP. We will put the link of this image in the description box. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer here so that I have a base image here so I can see the before and after. So before using the skin smoothing method, we need to clean a little bit here the skin. So I'm going to use the heal tool for that. So here it is. So for the hardness and the force, I'm going to decrease it. So here for its size, I'm going to increase a little bit. So here, and now keep the control key down here and then left click to sample. So here click to set a new. So if I left click and then keep the control key. So here, as you can see down here, if you keep the control key, click to set a new hill source, then left click. So make sure to select parts are closed from where you want to fix the skin. And then I'm just going to paint. So here it is. And now I'm going to control key and then left click. And then here, I'm going to add this one. And then control key and then left click. So now I'm going to keep control key down and then left click. And now I'm just going to remove this one here. Hit control key down and then here left click. You can still increase the hardness. And now I'm going to decrease the hardness and the force a little bit. And now keep the control key down and then left click. And now to sample the point. Here I'm going to remove this part here. So here it is, if you do a mistake, just control Z to undo and then do it again. So let's see before and after. So here it is, I think here it's okay. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer, this one here where I use the hill selection, the hill tool, sorry, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to hide the original one, this one here, I'm going to hide it. So now I'm going to select the top one. So now I'm going to invert the colors. So go to colors and then invert. And now I'm going to change the layer mode to vivid light. So here it is. Now we can't see anything, it's okay. So now I'm going to use the high pass filter on this layer here. So go to filters, enhance, and then high pass. So now what I want here is to smooth the skin while keeping the some of the texture. We're going to blur it after that to fix it and then use a layer mask and just paint on the skin here. I'm not going to select the nose or the mouth or the ear. This mine's going to keyboard to zoom out. So here it is, and I press OK. And now I'm going to blur this layer. So go to filters, blur, and then Gaussian blur. And now I'm going to increase the blur. So as you can see, there's some texture here. So I'm going to increase it until I get the result I want. So I think here it's okay. So now I'm going to leave it here and now press okay. And now I'm going to add layer mask. I don't want to keep all this layer. I'm just going to paint on the parts here of the skin I want to keep. So I'm just going to add layer mask, right click, add layer mask, and then check the black full transparency layer mask, and then add. So on layer mask, the black represents transparency and the white opacity. So now if I paint with white on the layer mask, as you can see, there's an outline. It will show our skin texture here, the layer. So I'm going to select the paintbrush tool. And for dynamics, I'm going to bring it back to basic dynamics. I'm going to increase the size a little bit. For the hardness, I'm going to keep the hardness like this. I'm just going to change the foreground color to white. And now I'm just going to paint here on the skin. 
So I can still increase the hardness and the force. So if you did a mistake, as I did here, Control Z, try to not get too close here from the edges here, on the mouth, the nose, or even the background. So now I'm going to reduce the size. So as you can see, it doesn't give a good effect here, so Control Z. Or I just reduce the hardness. I think here I'm okay. I'm going to leave it here, I think. So if I right click new from visible, I'm going to hide the, this one here. So now let's see the before the skin smoothing and after using the hair tool. So here it is. And now if you see with the original image, if you press the plus on your keyboard to zoom in, as you can see, we have some skin texture here. So I think that's it. That's how we can do skin smoothing in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.